click the open bitmap button and select the file you wish to open and click OK. Select the sizing option you want for the image and click OK. When the image is loaded, click on the Vectorize Image button. A dialog box will open where you can set how the image should be traced. This time we are going to convert the image into vector graphics in several colors. Click the plus button to the left of the bottom bar. A color from the bitmap image will be added. Then continue until you have the colors added that you want to trace. You can see the resulting colors in the program window. If there are colors in the bar that you want to trace, you can click you can click it and then click the exclude color button. A cross is drawn in the color box to show that the color will be excluded. If you get similar looking colors, you can join two colors by selecting one color and then click the combine colors button. Then click the color that the first color should be matched with. By adjusting the resolution slider, you can increase or decrease the amount of details in the image. Below the bars you have three buttons to the right. Clicking the first will display the original bitmap image in the program window. The second button will display the solid color bitmap that will be traced. This button should be active when you adjust the grayscale and color limits and also when you adjust the resolution setting. The third button will display the vectorized result. This button becomes automatically activated when you have vectorized the image. Test the current settings by clicking the Vectorize All button. You can now adjust the settings for the vector conversion. Click this button when you made changes to the settings to see the new result. The amount slider is also used to adjust the amount of color that you have selected in the color bar. Tolerance sets how close curves will be fitted to the original image. Lower tolerance usually means more nodes. By increasing the corner value, you will get a trace that looks more jaggy. The size filter removes small objects from the trace. By increasing the value, more objects are removed. The colors are vectorized with the leftmost color in the bottom and then the next color on top of it, etc. You can however select another color as the bottom color by selecting it and then click the put color at bottom button. If you only want to vectorize one color, you can select it in the color bar and then click the vectorize selected button. When you are happy with the look of the trace, click on close. When an image is vectorized, only the trace result is shown. You can turn on the view bitmap option by clicking this button to the right of the work area. The color layers are stacked on top of each other. This means that the bottom layer cover almost all the image except for the white parts. By clicking one layer at a time, in the layer list you can see how they look.